Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So I want to show you something here I made in Bitwig. It's called Tonal Balancer. This is how it looks like. Very basic. Just some remote controls here. And it kind of balances the tonal distribution of your track automatically. So this is the idea behind it. So I show you first how it sounds. Here in the background you can see I have some kind of track. And uh, this is how it sounds without. And then I can bring in the auto EQ here with the target knob. I can also change here the target curve. At the moment it's, I think, pink noise. We can also switch this to smiley. And these rise and fall buttons or knobs here change how drastically or how fast the EQ adapts to changes in the audio uh, signal. So at some point, if you make it too fast, it becomes a compressor, right? But you want to have a leveler. So um, it's not really a compressor, it's kind of both. So it's a very slow uh, leveler, in my opinion, if you have the rise and fall here at at least 50% and you use RMS. So this thing is based around my target level preset I showed you last week, where I just extract the volume uh, from another track or from another sound source and then apply it to your current sound source to match the level. Uh, but here I'm using basically um, a noise source. So let's go to noise here. Well, let's open this up. Um, so there's a noise source, which is the test tone. And test tone here is in pink noise mode. So it puts out a pink noise sound, okay? So on that pink noise sound, I put an EQ. You can see here as an FX selector. This is basically what you select here, pink and smiley, right? So in smiley, there is an EQ on this noise. So we change it to a slight smiley curve. So we amplify here the tops and the lows and reduce a bit in the mids here around 500 hertz. And pink noise is just pure pink noise. So you can, of course, create your own curves here. You can duplicate this and say uh, custom curve and say, I want to reduce here this even more. Maybe I don't want to have that, that, much, that much top end. So you can create your own curves, um, multiple ones here, and then you can select it, of course, here in the uh, selector or in the drop down. So this is the source. This is basically your target curve that's where you want to have your uh, frequencies in your audio signal. So this one, uh, so this changed pink noise curve then here, or pink noise uh, audio signal is then split it into multiple bands here. You can see 22, 88 hertz, rate 88 to 200 hertz and so on. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands. I split this into seven bands. I think it's enough. For the master, you don't want to have, you know, more bands. You can do infinite bands if you want to. And for the splitting here, I also use my uh, idea with the convolution reverb to use, um, yeah, impulse responses to split the audio signal, which works pretty neat, in my opinion. So there's also no uh, phase um, yeah, it's linear phase basically. So there's no phase distortion happening there. So this is then split it up into multiple, sig multiple signals here. And that's basically it. So this is the noise thing. And then here on the sound, I'm using the input sound, which is our track here. And I also split this into the same kind of frequency bands, of course. Uh, and then on each of these bands, there is here one of my match level. 
um, preset to match basically the level of the sound of the pink noise or the yeah the noise sound from the first channel here from this one right so i match basically the level on each of these bands and correct it upwards or downwards so it's a it's a leveler and the source or the so the, the source frequency level is basically on the first track and then you match the level here on this sound thing I have also here a dry signal, so you can blend in the dry signal also made here with the same um, with the same technique with the band splitters here, but this is the full signal. But the here's the, the compensation is in there, right? It's also 87 milliseconds. So it's um yeah, it it's not finished. That's that's why I want to tell you. So you don't want to use dry or you don't want to use here the mix knob at all. Um so that's that's basically it. So um, there's nothing nothing more to it, right? Just a band splitter and then matching each of these bands to uh, a noise source. Um, then we have something here like a stereo unlink, where you can uh, say I want to match the light, uh, the left channel and the right channel uh, in separately, or I want to bring it back to mono, right? So unlink is basically this. Um, then we can switch on and off your RMS from the uh, leveler. And you usually want to have this on all the time, but if you want to make some sound experiments or you want to react faster to the uh, audio signal, then you can turn this off. This is the noise level here. So we can also change the level of the noise. So if you pull this down, all the volume of all the frequency bands are going down or up and um, let's let's play this here for a moment so you can see here on each on these bands uh, what the smudge level plugin is doing you can see here on change i'm increasing here the volume right and here i'm slightly doing nothing and sometimes it's going down so you can see the volume change if it's going up or down right also interesting is this target knob if you have this all the way down um, then inside of these levelers uh, maybe decrease here inside of these levelers i'm using the same envelope follower for the multiplication instead of using the audio sidechain signal for the multiplication so what this means is if you have this all the way down you make no volume change to the input signal so input signal is output signal more or less and if you then pull this up then i'm using the envelope follower here of the noise source all right you can see this here So let's go here to target 100%, which is probably not what you want to do. And then go here into the pink noise curve and just play around with this. Maybe make here the changes a bit faster so you can hear what I do. So right, I'm not EQing here the audio signal. I'm EQing the pink noise sound from the test tone device here. And then splitting the signal and analyzing the volume. And then I'm forcing it onto my audio signal. So this is like an indirect EQ, right? So this is, uh, you can see here, I'm having noise all the time. So you can EQ, but basically, um, your audio signal with pink noise. Or maybe use here the custom curve. More bass.
So like I said in the beginning, something is missing and this is threshold. I want to implement here threshold so it's not um, leveling up um, yeah, the noise floor if you play this here on a quiet part. It tries to raise uh, it tries to raise here basically the, the noise floor and brings up all the quiet noise, which is not what you want. So I want to implement your threshold that only certain parts are getting amplified. So this is my um, idea behind it. But it works quite well so far. So you can try it out. I put this on my um, GitHub. So this is completely free. You can just download it, try it out for yourself. Create some curves here if you want to and you know, give me some feedback. Okay, so that's the tonal balancer preset for Bitwig. Let me know what you think. Leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription. Thanks for watching. Bye.